Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> got you now. You won't escape from it no more. Finally got him. He been escaping from it for two months. Ever since he been born. I finally got him in a pen now. So I'm gonna get him set up and we'll get him trained up so he won't be so wild. <laughs> Cause right now he's feral. All right, all right, it's IAG Farms, all about God. Another day out here on the farm today. And uh, we started out kind of chilling this morning, as y'all saw, I had to start a little wood fire to knock the chill off. And I was able to, you know, uh, to, to cook my coffee, to boil my water from my coffee on the wood stove, and that's always good. But uh, yeah, I'm out here now, getting ready to get started. Uh, kind of a little, little bit of a late start, but not too much. I sat there and I spent a little time with the Lord, read my Bible and things like that, just kind of Got my plan for today and for the next couple of days. You know, I kind of I, I try to like uh, take my time, you know, and uh, you know, uh, get my plans organized in my thoughts and present those plans that I make to the Lord, you know, so He can approve or change them and you know perfect them, <laughs> you know, so I have a good vision, you know, going forward in the week because that's my main duty with this farm is to be a visionary, is to be able to to to, to draw in the vision from the Lord. And, and 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 relay that vision and that message, you know, to Megan and the boys, and anybody else, grandma, whoever comes down here and farms alongside of us. But this morning, I'm just kind of like finna uh, get the farm chores done. Uh, we actually uh, got a new little project going on over here. I'm trying something out. I hadn't did this in probably what, man. Some of y'all who've been watching the video since the beginning, y'all remember we had uh, pigs on pasture, and we actually uh, had like 30. 30, 40 pigs on pasture at one point. I see if I can find some video to put in right here to show y'all our, our old pasture pig operation. But we're getting back going here. And I'm starting small so that I can, uh, you know, get my feet wet again. <laughs> you know, because uh, I, I I wouldn't call our last attempt at pasture pork a failure. But uh, I also wouldn't call it like a full success because we did end up that one year. And I think that was the year when the uh, coronavirus first hit. But I think we ended up selling like 30 pigs, 30 pasture raised uh, pork hogs. I know we sold them, you know, for a nice amount. I don't know exactly how much we made. You know, I didn't do like the numbers based off of, uh, you know, profit margin, and all that type of stuff. How much we spent on feed and gas for tractors and things like that. But, you know, I know that we uh, we at least broke even, you know, that year. And uh, we probably probably made a little profit. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get back into the pasture pig operation, pa pasture pig business. And I'm just starting off with with, with our pig biscuit here. And a uh, biscuit, you know, it's kind of, you know, uh. <laughs> Has went a little bit longer than we expected for him to go. He's probably about two years old. He's American getting hog. He was born here. 
We raised him here, castrated him. He's a uh, a barrel. He's castrated uh, male, and uh, we we had the intention of using him, you know, for for pork to put in the freezer. But uh, we had sausage and biscuit, and uh, sausage ended up dying. You know, we had we just had biscuit left, and uh, biscuit has kind of been like the the pin mate for all of our uh, our boars and just any animal that needed a pin mate. Biscuit has been that pin mate, and uh, he's the last pig left off of a line that we loved. Uh, it was a pig we had named April. She was our favorite hog, and uh, she ended up dying one year. We did a video a while back on that. But yeah, we got a biscuit out here, and we're starting them off in this pen here. Y'all have seen this pen before. We rotate all type of animals on pasture in this pen. But uh, we put them in here first because uh, I learned, one thing I learned is, is that if you put the pigs too close to where they, uh, cause I, what I used to try to do was, I used to try to like uh, put electric fence off of that 4,000 square feet hog pen at the bottom of the hill down there. But what, what, what happened is, is that when I brung that fence away, from that uh, pen where they were used to being, they got so uncomfortable that they just broke out and tried to get back in there. And so what I did was here, I, I put set this little pen up for him. And uh, as you can see, he's closed in there right now. And today you're, you're gonna get, get a chance to see me let him out for the first time. He's been in here probably about three, three, four days, something like that. And as uh, you can see that, this is why we love American guinea hogs. He's been in here three, four days. It rained maybe two of those days, and uh, you know it, it's not muddy or messy in here too much. He's just kind of rooted on the on the surface level, like there's still grass <laughs> in here. So we love it. You love it too, don't the biscuit? Yeah. So uh, we we have our solar fence charger here. This is good for up to five miles, uh, and we've been we've been had this for a while. I had to do some work on it one time. I think I replaced the battery. We might have had it like four or five years. I think I had to replace the battery maybe one time in that. Got a little grounding rod right there. And then we got our jumper wire going there. And I'm gonna just walk you around and kind of show you the, the paddock that I have set up for them. And uh, our goal is to have permanent fence on the outside and then rotate the pigs through the uh, the silvo pasture here. Uh, Cause we got a little bit of silvo pasture over here. And then we got a little bit of silvo pasture over here that we used to rotate rotate the pigs in during the winter months. And then during the during, during the uh, summer and spring, we would just put them on grass. Like I said, cause we, we, we would rotate them, I think once a week. And we had like 30 hogs on pasture. But yeah, here you see he got a little bit of grass here that uh, we left, we didn't cut. And then going off in here, I'm gonna get him started on this silver pasture section. Let's see if I can get through here without getting shocked. And then we're gonna take him on through here. As you can see. And then I have a break in the fence right here. So when I get ready to move him, I pull that, pull that post up right there, pull that post up right there. And uh, I'll be able to open this up and give them the next section. And then once I put them in this next section here, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get them over here in this section right there. And uh, that section is gonna be so big because I'm gonna close off that whole whole section. I'm gonna put a electric fence around this whole silvo pasture section right here. And uh, that should be good enough for about, about two months, you know, with just one pig. He had plenty to eat. Give him a little grain here and there, little scraps here and there. But yeah, let me keep on walking around. So you can see the pen is back off up there. Get the camera focus. There we go. And then you have the the electric fence coming out the pen, coming down through here, going through the woods, on through here. Let's see here. Get on around all this brush. <sighs> Trying not to disturb any hibernating snakes. Yeah, but yeah, this is what a Mississippi winter is like. You know, it's, it's not technically winter time yet. But uh, pretty much it gets warm during the day, it's cold at night, you know. And uh, if we ever have a winter storm, we all panic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, throwing five, six layers of clothes because we're not used to the cold. But yeah, you can see this whole section here, he's gonna have it. And I'm thinking about putting another pig in here with him. Uh, I got another little boy, and then I have Abraham, my intact boy. Uh, I might put him in here with him just so he can have a pin mate. But I think he'll be fine on his own. He's he's pretty he's a pretty docile, docile pig. Some of our pigs are crazy. We got, we got a crazy line of <laughs> pigs. But biscuit comes from April. The uh the little the uh sow that I was telling you about that was our that was our favorite pig. He comes from here, and uh, those pigs were, were a lot more docile. Uh, it would be good if we still had that line around, cause those pigs were a lot more calm. So uh <laughs> one of our subscribers is gonna come and get some pigs. So, want, want some American guinea hog piglet, piglets. So I'm gonna go ahead and warn you now. <laughs> you, you, you're gonna be getting a crazy line. You know, they're a little bit wild, but uh, they, they're good foragers. So yeah, I, it would be good if we still had some of this line here where they were super docile. But uh, those crazies, they're, they're, they're something else. But yeah, so that, 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 that's the section where we're gonna uh, let Biscuit out of. 
like I said, there's the door right there. We're just gonna open the door today, let them out. And then we need to also get a water in here because I, what I've been doing is I've just been giving them buckets of water in there probably twice a day. And uh, he'll drink out of there until he turns it over. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda for today. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna get the tractor cranked up. Like I said, I moved him a 55 gallon water down here. So he can have plenty of water, enough water, so we won't have to do water two times a day. And now uh, we're gonna get it moved out, and I just bring y'all along for the journey. So let me get these farm chores done down here where the crazies are in the pen and where the sheep are, and then we'll get on to the fun stuff. Moving biscuit out on pasture. <laughs> All right, so we got biscuit on pasture. Let's just watch him for a few hours and see how he does. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and try to catch this little boy. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. I got I got a big old trap that we bought one year to catch a fox that was getting into our chicken coop. And uh, I think I'm going to set that big trap up down in the pig pen down there because I didn't feed the pigs this morning. The crazies down there in the pen, the breeders. Uh, so they're pretty riled up. And so uh, that, that little pig, that uh, little, little boar I'm talking about, he can squeeze through the uh, bottom of the cattle panel because cattle panels, because he's so small. And so I'm going to set up a trap, a big old trap, and uh, put a little feed in there and see if we can catch him like that instead of having to chase him around with the dogs. Because last time I let the dogs herd him, Solo about tried to kill him. He, <laughs> he uh, latched on around his neck. But uh, yeah, so let's see if we can catch him passively <laughs> with that trap. And if that doesn't work, the dogs will be able to get him and hold him down until I can get over there to him. But I want to kind of uh, not, not not put that much pressure on him with the dogs. I want to see if I can catch him and keep him calm. So let's uh, watch Biscuit for a few hours out here, get him some water. Uh, I think I'm going to put him in some water in this bucket right here real quick. And then I later on, after I set this trap up for this little boy, then I bring the, uh, the tractor and bring a, two, uh, a 55-gallon barrel over here and uh, pull the water trailer over and uh, fill that up for him. So he had plenty of water. So, all right, plenty of work to do. All right, y'all, I got it set up over here. And I got it, got it set to where he'll go in right there. And then step on that trap right, that trigger right there. And then he'll get closed in there. And I'll be able to lug him out and put him on pasture out there. So I'm gonna get a little food put in there. And then I'll get y'all set up on the camera and see if I can let y'all see him uh, go in the trap and get caught. All right, get it set. Let's see if we can catch a pig.
<laughs> All right, y'all. I thought this was going to be a pretty simple, quick process. But it's taking too long, so I'm going to have to switch my approach up. I might have to go in there and just, just manhandle them. I still don't want to go in there. I don't feel like getting all. I already got muddy enough going in that pen there. And because uh, it's been raining a lot, so it's pretty muddy in there. I need to get some wood chips down off in there. But I think I'm gonna have to change my approach. So give me a minute. Let me think about what I want to do. If I want to go and just go in there and just grab them, or if I want to just keep on waiting. But let me figure something out. All right, y'all, so I got all the pigs in here now. And there's my target right there. <laughs> I still hadn't caught them. Plan A didn't work, so I'm on to plan B. Plan B is to get them all in here. And I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do next yet. Because uh, I'm, ha I'm a little bit hesitant <laughs> to go in here and try to grab one of them mama's little baby pig because he's gonna start squealing and they're gonna try to attack me. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let all of the bigger pigs out and uh, try to see if I can keep him in there. And then get the bigger pigs, all the mamas, back in this pen. And then just go in there and grab him. And it'll be pretty easy. Grab them, put them in that cage. And I can take them on up to the top of the hill and put them on pasture with biscuits. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get all the big pigs out once they get through eating. I just gave them a little bit of feed. So they should be through eating pretty soon. And I'm going to try to let all the big pigs out. Keep the small pig in. And then just go in there and get them without having to worry about getting attacked <laughs> by any of the mamas. So on the plan B, let, hopefully we won't have to go to plan C. All right, y'all, plan B was a success. I didn't have to go on to plan C, because it's good I didn't, because I didn't have a plan C. So we got the pigs in there, all the big pigs, mama pigs, and uh, Abraham, our boy. And then in here, we have our little boar pig that uh, we need to get trained up, because he's too wild. So I'm going to go in there and have to wrangle him, manhunt him. I hate the boys in out here, because uh, usually I send the boys and do stuff like that. But uh, they're not here today. They're at grandma's house, having a little three-day weekend vacation having a little fun with grandma and uh and megan she's uh teaching at her uh, teaching at the college that she teaches it she gets off in a few hours but oh b oh b trying to land on my hand <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna go on in here and try to wrangle this pig and then i'm gonna get them on up here in pasture so we can get on moving on to the next level of what we need to do today i need to go and get some things done before it gets too late before it get dark on me so let's get this pig put in this cage and get him up here on pasture Alright y'all, so I'm finna get to fill up these, the water for these pigs and the water for the sheep. 
and then I'm gonna take the water trailer, pull it up with the tractor, and uh, take it up there to the pasture where the pigs are on pasture and fill them up with 55 gallon of water, 55 gallon barrel of water. But while I'm waiting for these pigs here and sheep water to uh, fill up, got a little lunch. So yeah, but I got. I'm gonna show y'all what I got for lunch today. Yeah, Meg knew I was gonna be ripping and running today, so got a cup full of little water. Got a uh, turkey sandwich. Got some barbecue chips, an orange, and an apple. So I'm gonna sit down and eat my lunch while I wait for these uh, waters down here to fill up. They should take about, I don't know how long because I got my tank pretty full. When my tank is full, the waters fill up faster. So they might fill up pretty quick to where I can, you know, eat my lunch after I do the waters. So I pick y'all back up when we get up on the pasture and start giving the pasture pigs water. And then we'll get that little boy that we caught in the cage and get him put in that uh that, that sheep slash pig tractor. <laughs> that 10 by 10 dog kennel. And I'll pick y'all up in about 15 minutes. I've arrived just in time to see some action. Tim is letting this little wild boar, <laughs> we call him my wild boar because he hasn't really been handled and he likes to get out of the pen and forage, but he's letting him out. So y'all have to just see this. Does this count as a uh, catch and release? Yeah. <laughs> catch and release wild boar. <laughs> Y'all ready? Okay. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's been turning flips in that little pan. He's calmed down a little bit now. Alright, that was pretty simple, uneventful. He just hopped right out. Yeah, it's a good thing this fencing has the smaller squares because he's been getting out of our hog pen. Um, he's small enough to squeeze through the bottom rung. So hopefully we can have him in here and then we'll eventually release him out and see this electric fencing. We'll kind of train him to this. So that's the goal. Tim's gonna give him a little bit more food. That's important. Cause you see how it's, it's important that a pig follows your bucket. Yes. When you shake it. Cause that's how you get them back in when they get out. Mm-hmm. We need him to be able to let us do this right here. Yeah. We need to be able to put our hand on him. Mm-hmm. You see that? Yeah. We need him to stop doing that. It's getting closer. Mm -hmm. That's as close as he's ever been. He's ever been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is usually from you all who've been watching the channel for a while. <clears throat> training the baby peas is usually the boys' job. I usually send them in, let them spend a little time with them, feed them a little stuff and things like that, rub on them, and then by the time they're done with them, the peas are usually you know docile. Mm -hmm. So uh, the boys are gone. As I as I told you all earlier on the video, the boys are at grandma's house for grandma's house for about three days. So I guess I'm going to have to send Megan in here <laughs> so she can uh, train the pig. That's right. Yeah. Lots of treats. Uh, lots of treats, yep. Just watch your fingers. Little... <laughs> no, I'm they not hand some, feeding. Got some we teeth. know better. You mm -hmm. don't hand feed you a pig. Remember that time we tried to uh, feed the pigs yeah, uh, they what was it, marshmallows or something? You need something that's long because they were biting the marshmallow and our finger at the same time. And they bite hard. You can't <laughs> feed the pigs with your hands. You mm -hmm. have to toss it on the ground in a bucket. Yep. In a pail. Mm -hmm. So you can walk them around and kind of show them the pasture a little bit and uh, talk to them about the water kind of show like you know the water set up and then we end it. Mm -hmm. Alright so we got these pigs here and the goal with uh, these pigs is to let them out again tomorrow and allow them to forge and this you know to train them to this is home but to also just train them on the electric fencing and we still need to give them a water so Tim's pulled the tractor over here and he's got it set up. We're going to get a uh, either a 55 gallon barrel or might have a smaller one and put it over here. Put it somewhere in this section so that they have access to water in this paddock as well. It's for two pigs. This is a ton of forage and a ton of food. So this will probably be their pen for a little while. And that's really, you know, what we got going. We just fill up the water and then we're done here. Yeah, pretty much. Uh-huh. 
All right, y'all. So I would definitely call today a success. Tim's got pigs on pasture. Um, we just have a few more things to close out today, and I'm excited to be able to come in and join them and uh, still be a part of this little pasture <laughs> pig operation. Yep. It's been fun. I've, I've had a lot of fun today. We went from zero pigs on pasture to two. So. We're headed in the right direction. Definitely. <laughs> Listen, I think I'm so excited because I'm thinking about the meat that's mm -hmm. coming and how good it's going to taste. Not like that good old pasture raised oh, pork. It's delicious. Yeah. You you don't even have to really season it. It already has like body and flavor. And mm -hmm. You can almost taste that the pigs ate berries and acorns yeah. and pecans. It's delicious. So um, I think we're just going to call it it for today. And you know what it is. It's IG Farms. It's all about God. We'll see you on the next one.